Tessa Brewer, the Catholic Bishop of South Bend, Indiana, is planning to skip the graduation ceremony at the Catholic University in his own diocese because President Obama will be there. Bishop John Darcy is refusing to attend Notre Dame's commencement because he disagrees with the commencement speaker. The president uh, disagrees with him on stem cell research and on abortion. Joining me now is Patrick Riley, the president of the Cardinal Newman Society, which has launched a website opposing the president's appearance. Why? Well, as the bishop has made clear, this is putting prestige over the faith mission of the university. More than 120,000 people as of this afternoon have signed our petition. And uh, as, the, as Bishop Darcy also made clear, uh, the university is at odds not just with their local bishop and with faithful Catholics, but with a mandate that was issued by the entire U.S. Bishops Conference in 2004 that bans honors to pro-abortion politicians at any Catholic institution. So this is a very high-stakes uh, decision by the, by the university. So uh, I'm just curious, do you always go through uh, your commencement speaker's stands and if you disagree with them, or if the church disagrees with them on a particular issue, you disinvite them? Uh, if they disagree with the church, if they are publicly uh, either attacking the church or undermining the, uh, the very basic tenets of the church, I mean, this president, President Obama, is the most radical pro-abortion president that the United States has ever had. And for a Catholic university to be honoring him with their highest honor, an honorary doctorate, is, is simply and why inconsistent. why would you say that? What, what about his stand makes you think that? He has, he has put taxpayer dollars at the service of those who would perform abortions, those who would do embryonic stem cell research. He has threatened the conscience protections of Catholic well, health care workers okay, so to let me force be clear. them to perform abortions. What he abortions. actually has done is overturned that global gag rule, which banned people who uh, counsel women in other countries, Correct. people that receive U.S. aid. Uh, the rule had been that they could not even counsel women about the availability of abortion, even in countries where it was legal. That's now over. That right. has gone back and forth between, has supported the, between the Republicans and mm -hmm. Democratic presidents for more than 20 years. Yeah, he has supported the Freedom of Choice Act, which would eliminate all the protections, uh, you know, the, the limited protections for women uh, in cases of abortion that have been established over the past 20 years. And this, this man is, is far more pro-abortion than Bill Clinton ever was. The policies that he's espousing would force Catholic health care workers to perform abortions against their conscience. And this is a man who has no respect Patrick, for the church. Patrick, not, that's not my understanding. And, and let me ask you this. President Obama in fact, let me play um, something he said, because I know the other part of this, the bishop is expressing some concern about now uh, using federal funding for stem cell research. Let me play right. what the president said last night. I am glad to see progress is being made in adult stem cells. And uh, if the science determines that we can completely avoid a... Uh, a set of ethical questions or political disputes, then that's great. I have, I have no investment in causing controversy. Uh, I'm happy to avoid it uh, if that's where the science leads us. And even on abortion, he's trying to find common ground with groups such as yours by saying his support goes to reducing the number of abortions, encouraging um, smart, safe behavior on the part of people who do not want children so that it reduces the incidence of abortions. Can't you support that? Uh, supporting a Freedom of Choice Act that would eliminate uh, parental uh, notification laws and would uh, dramatically expand abortion in this country hardly is consistent with the rhetoric. I'm sorry, this man is, has made it clear that he is not uh, in support of, of the pro-life position that the church holds very dear. Patrick, good of you to join us. Thank you well, for thank your time. You.